Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to create these awesome 3D pipes in 3ds Max. So first of all let me just start with a new uh, 3ds Max scene and then I'm going to expand my viewport and I'm going to go to the front view so just make sure you're on front. Okay and then we're going to go to shapes and click on line and then you're just going to click and drag around to create your basic um, line shape so just go crazy and create something like like that oops let's just do that last one again and that should be fine and then you just right click to end that line okay then we can go into perspective view and you'll see that everything is flat on the x axis so we actually want to change that to make it a bit more 3d so let's go into the modify tab and then for the vertices you're just gonna grab some of them and move them around in 3d space so just grab some of them move them around like this nothing fancy maybe a bit more on this side as well like that maybe that way okay and maybe this one okay maybe that's okay for now and the next step is we want to create a circle that will be the shape of these pipes. So go back to create and then click on circle and just draw out a small circle. Go into the properties of that circle and let's change the radius to 0 0.04 and that should be thick enough. And next step is you want to select your line object and you want to go to the first tab and you click on geometry and then you want to go down to compound objects. Okay, and then on this tab you're going to click on loft and then you're going to click get shape and then we're going to select that circle that we created. So just click on the circle and you'll see that your pipes will be created. Okay, next step to smooth it out a bit, we're going to go to the skin parameters and then you'll see we've got shape steps and the path steps. So basically, if I set this all to zero, you'll see it's all jerky and not very smooth at all. So the path steps will actually increase the smoothness of the corners and the shape steps will increase the roundness of your pipes. So if we up that and if we up that, you'll see it will smooth it out a bit. So I'm going to set my path steps to quite high, 64 and shape steps, let's set that to 24. So we'll have a really nice and smooth pipe system going on. Next up, we're going to duplicate this. So I'm going to select E on my keyboard for rotate. So we've got our rotation. And then what we want to do is you want to hold and shift and then rotate to duplicate that and select copy. OK, and then just spin it around a few times. So it's not exactly the same. And then we want to do that again. So hold and shift and rotate, select copy and just rotate it around a bit and maybe one more time so hold in shift so create a copy and then just rotate around a bit so it's not exactly the same and there we go so what i'm going to do next i'm just going to add a quick material first of all i just want to set my renderer to v-ray so i'm going to assign my v-ray renderer and then i'm going to go to my material editor right click materials v-ray v-ray material and let's just make that a bit bigger so I'm going to choose red, like a kind of dark red. And for the reflect, I'm just going to set the reflection to a slight reflection. And I'm going to disable the Fresnel reflections. And I think that should be fine. So what you can do in your viewport, just do a control A to select everything. And then right click on your material, assign material to selection. And let's close that and let's quickly do a test render. Let's just set this to HDTV. Uh, let's just do a low res render, click on render. Okay, there we go. Uh, another thing that I want to enable quickly is under GI, your global illumination. And let's add some ambient occlusion as well. Let's add a quick light. So go to your lights, go to V-Ray, V-Ray light. And let's just add a nice little V-Ray light there. Maybe somewhere like that. That's cool. So if we zoom in here a bit. Okay, so before we do our final render, let's just set the resolution to 120 by 1080 and let's do a quick render. So there you go, some quick and easy 3D pipes in 3ds Max. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Give me a thumbs up if you do. And if you want to see more of my tutorials, remember to click that subscribe button. And yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Cheers, bye.